evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight. Honolulu police are asking residents to celebrate the new year safely. More officers will be out on patrol during the holiday weekend, responding to calls of illegal fireworks and conducting sobriety checkpoints. Police say they're also going to cite anybody who parks on the freeway to watch fireworks. Here's Max Rodriguez with more. A freeway turning into a parking lot as dozens stop to watch the New Year's fireworks. For police, thankful the stopped cars did not lead to a major accident. I was so grateful that we didn't have a traffic fatality. I mean, you had families, small children, they had tents, tables, chairs. Um, that's tons of like dangerous situations like left and right. And just look how fast the cars are traveling down the highway. Police say parking on the shoulder to watch the fireworks is extremely unsafe. They will be enforcing zero tolerance. The primary focus is, again, preventing loss of life or property. Um, officers will be out there in force, not only for the traffic safety, but also for that freeway issue that we had last year. A new law will be taking effect starting next year, looking to keep better track of the shipment of fireworks into the islands requiring each county to submit an annual report to the legislature, including legal firework inventory and sales to license and permit holders. Having a basic um, accounting for at least those permits that are being filed, um, how things are being imported, and, and what that looks like is sort of a first step to figure out, all right, where are um, some of the gaps in the process? Police expecting a busy New Year's Eve weekend, staffing up patrol, looking out for drunk drivers and illegal fireworks. HPD responded to approximately 800 calls for illegal fireworks last year, but only issuing 32 citations and one arrest. Proving someone was lighting or in possession of illegal fireworks could be a challenge. There will be plainclothes officers out there trying to uh, basically catch people in the act because that's the way that we can actually get a citation for it. We have to actually see people with the fireworks. Officers say people can remain anonymous when reporting illegal fireworks in their neighborhood, but they say providing a written witness statement for prosecution would be even more helpful. Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.